morning and welcome to another episode of GSC at Home. My name is Abby and today we are going to be doing an experiment with fire. I like making fire but I also enjoy safely and responsibly extinguishing it and today we are going to do exactly that with an invisible fire extinguisher. If you want to do this experiment at home, please ask an adult to help you. You are going to need a few things. Tea lights, a jug, vinegar, bicarbonate of soda and matches. Once you have gathered all these things together, including your adult, you are ready to start. To make fire, we are going to need three things. The first thing we are going to need is oxygen. Oxygen is an element that can be found as a gas all around us. The air is around 20% oxygen and we breathe oxygen in to keep our bodies healthy. The second thing we are going to need is a fuel. And a simple example of a fuel is a tea light candle. The wax in the candle releases energy as it burns. And this is an example of chemical energy transforming into heat and light energy. So I've placed my tea light candles on my sturdy coffee table and I've made sure there's nothing around them that could catch fire. Please make sure you have an adult to help you with this experiment. We want everyone to stay safe. Now the third thing we are going to need to make fire is a source of heat energy and today we are going to be using matches. Matches are extremely hot when they burn and they are an example of chemical and mechanical energy transforming into heat and light energy. A little bit like this. So those three things together, our oxygen, our fuel and our heat energy form what we call the fire triangle. So now we have our candles burning, I'm wondering how we can extinguish them. Well we need to remove one of the components of the fire triangle. It would be quite difficult to remove the fuel or the heat and also quite dangerous. But we can remove the oxygen and we can do that by replacing it with another gas. We can use carbon dioxide to do this. Carbon dioxide can be found in the air all around us but we can also make our own. While we do that, please do not leave your candles unattended. To make carbon dioxide, we are going to need two ingredients that you should be able to find in your kitchen at home. The first is vinegar. I have some in this glass here, about 50 mils. The second ingredient we need is bicarbonate of soda. I have some here. So we're going to add a generous amount of bicarbonate of soda into our vinegar. I'm going to add about three teaspoons. Then we're going to give it a wee swirl. We can already see it bubbling up nicely. That is the carbon dioxide being released. Now carbon dioxide is denser or heavier than air and so it will collect in the glass. So what's going on here? Well there are a few chemical reactions taking place and new products being formed. Vinegar is a dilute version of a type of chemical called an acid, in this case acetic acid. Bicarbonate of soda is a type of chemical called a base. When vinegar and bicarbonate of soda are combined, the main products are carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide will rise to the top of the mixture, just like the bubbles in fizzy drinks, and collect in the glass. Let's return to our tea light candles. So now we are back with our tea lights, we are going to try and extinguish them using the carbon dioxide we have just made. We're going to tip the glass gently to the side, keeping the vinegar inside the glass. Amazing. So we are able to use the carbon dioxide to push the oxygen out the way, therefore removing one of the components of the fire triangle and extinguishing the flames. Thank you so much for joining me today on GSD at Home. If you have any questions or you would like to share your science experiment with us, please leave a comment below or tag us on social media using hashtag GSD at Home. We love to hear from you.